What is up everyone, PWG here. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of thinking about a new trick to actually landing that trick. So before we start this video, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because I will be posting more freestyle videos this year because I am extremely bored these days. Now, creating a brand new trick or a brand new move in 2020 is extremely difficult because so many moves have already been done, but there are ways you can go about it. For example, you can take a sit down move and make it into a lower move, or you can make a lower move or make it into a sit down move, or you can add side tricks, you can add acrobatics, you can add a b-boy element to it. There's many ways to create new tricks or innovate new tricks. It's all up to you. But in this case, I wanted to explain how I created the last trick of my best tricks of 2019 video, which is a Clipper 360 Flying Reload. There are quite a few steps leading up to me being able to even think about it, but it all starts with a Japanese freestyler named Izu. He did a move in 2011, 2012, where he was sitting down and basically kicking the ball away from his body and then tapping the ball with his toe in the same motion, like this. Now I watched this video and I was amazed. Not only is Izu an amazing freestyler, but he created this move and not many people actually saw this trick and gave him credit for creating it. I wanted to innovate on this move. So what I did is that I took a sitting trick and made it into a lower trick. I tried to do it standing up. So basically kicking the ball downwards and kicking it up again in the same motion. Since then, a lot of people has landed the reload and it's cool to see that a lot of people are doing your move worldwide, but I wanted to innovate it even more. So in 2016, I did both the front reload and the flying reload. And in both 2017 and in 2018, I did other variations with the reload, but we're gonna leave it that for now because we're gonna focus on the flying reload. Now for the best tricks of 2019 video, I wanted to create something spectacular for the last trick. So in 17 and 18, I tried a Clipper 360 flying reload, but I failed miserably because I actually injured myself a few times with the hip after kicking and missing the ball. And it kind of hurts, so it kind of cracked in my hip, which sucks. So I didn't bring it up again until late 2019. Obviously in December where I record all of my best tricks of videos. I was 100% determined that I wanted to land a Clipper 360 flying reload. And here are the first attempts. All right, voiceover PWG in the building. And as you can see in the clip, I'm wearing the details t-shirt for Evolution, link in the description. That's quite fitting as there are a lot of small intricate details in this move. And this attempt right here made me think that it wasn't too difficult to land after all, seeing that I got this attempt only after about 20 minutes. But we carry on. There was quite a lot of kicking the ball away, a lot of kicking air, and even more running after the ball. Extremely frustrating, but at least I'm getting my cardio. And I can't even begin to stress how frustrating that is, as you can see. I was starting to doubt myself as my attempts were getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And then I got this. But as you can see in the disappointment in my face, it wasn't good enough. And the slow-mo proves that. So, we carry on. Only a few minutes later, boom, in your face. What a feeling. What an amazing feeling to land this move that I worked so... Wait, no, not good enough. And you know, we carry on. I really wanted the reload flick to be perfect, so I had to be self-critical. trickles landed but I can still do way better than this we carry on one of the most frustrating things about doing this trick is that even after I landed it but it wasn't clean enough I had to go back and start from square one as you can probably tell I'm just trying to get that perfect execution, which quite frankly, too many people don't even care about. You can post a shitty reload on Instagram, say you landed it and people will be like, oh my God, bro, you're so crazy, clean reload, bro. But I ain't having that. I just wanted to get it right. Day three arrives, another shitty day for my groin and my mental well-being. But I was determined to get it with the right execution because at this point, there's no use for settling for half-assed execution. 
like this one. A few good attempts here, a few good attempts there, but nothing that really rattled my boat. At this point, my groin was working overtime and I didn't have much left to give, but I kept on going because that's what we do as freestylers. I don't even know what to say anymore, you know how this ends, I landed in the end, but I just wanted to share my anger and frustration with my audience so that you guys know how hard I work to get every single detail correctly. At this point I was starting to doubt myself whether this was worth my while or not, but I'm far too invested in it now to quit, so giving up is not an option, and it never was. And here we have it, final product, 3 days, 10 hours of attempts, and this is the final clip. And that's the story of how I landed the trick that I call the roundhouse reload. Now back to on-camera PWG to do the outro. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video because I certainly enjoyed talking about one of my favorite tricks of all time. So make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you want me to break down any other trick or if there's any trick that you want me to try out. Absolutely no acrobatics because I am injured in my wrist. Ouch, right now. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more freestyle videos and I will see you guys in the next one.